Okay, just before I go, the music class has invited me in to say a couple of words. And they're going to perform very quickly. Un canción en Aymara. Back in 2020, I got to go to Bolivia. The first time I came here was in 2009, and I'd always wanted an excuse to return. On this trip, I ended up spending most of my time in El Alto and La Paz, which is considered to be the highest capital in the world. You've got unusual markets, stunning viewpoints, and even Cholita wrestling, which makes visiting these cities pretty damn interesting. My excuse for returning to Bolivia was the bagpipes. And yep, I did get to pipe in some insanely beautiful spots, but the best experience I had was performing in one of the public schools in La Paz. Bolivia, you're officially country number 104. I've just arrived in La Paz, Bolivia, where I've got my first and only official piping gig at a public school in the center of the Paz, somewhere called San Pedro Square. Now, the public school itself isn't that well known, but the square is, which is where I am right now. It goes in focus, come on. Um, because of this prison over here, see that punk building? That is San Pedro Prison. Now, San Pedro Prison was made super well known because over 10 years ago, you used to be able to do these prison tours and actually go into the prison and um, visit the people that are incarcerated and it was made super famous by a Australian author called Rusty Young 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 who wrote a book called Marching Powder um, I'm not gonna go into it just yet but look it up and Google because it's super interesting anyway so I turned up yesterday at this school um, San Pedro school I think it's called San Pedro Cuba school oh here we go Escuela Fiscal República de Cuba in La Paz so how do I get the piping gig well the day before, I knocked on the door of this school in La Paz and asked if they'd be interested in a short performance. The admin was understandably a bit unsure, so I had to do a demonstration and they ended up pretty excited. On the day that I piped, the students totally blew me away with their enthusiasm and I ended up learning two things. The first thing, Bolivian kids love unicorns. <laughs> The second thing, many public schools in La Paz offer instruction in both Spanish and indigenous languages, such as Aymara or Quechua. And I learned this because of the music teacher. As I was just about to leave, he got me to drop into his class to speak about the bagpipes. And the students, with their teacher, ended up sharing their own Aymara tune. All in all, a great trip to Bolivia, and I hope I have more excuses to get back there one day. Follow for more kilted adventures and travel stories. Bueno, mucho gusto, un placer, un placer, yes, muchas gracias, ustedes, besos, ciao. Well, that was wicked.